Actor, writer, and producer, Sharon Horgan is known for sitcoms like Catastrophe and Divorce, providing the brains and wits in the production. Horgan is now starring in the new Apple TV Plus show, Bad Sisters, a series she created. Our Jamie Wax caught up with the Irish star to discuss the new show and what inspires her writing and work. Jamie, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Vlad. Great to see you, too. Sharon Horgan, one of my favorite artists, is an Emmy-nominated BAFTA-winning sensation. She has a style of writing that is uniquely hers. She loves dark humor, and there's truly no topic she won't explore. I met up with her in Brooklyn's Williamsburg neighborhood, where she spent a lot of time crafting some of her best work. I've definitely found myself in, in my writing dealing with something that I wasn't able to figure out in my own, you know, personal life. Sharon Horgan is a true master of her craft. Uh, no tomato, please, or onions, or lettuce, or cabbage, or anything but meat. And says she navigates her life through her writing. I didn't have my bag stolen. I, I thought you said you'd had your bag stolen. My kebab! Is your work a certain level of therapy for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I didn't have it, I would be a little bit worried um, for myself and for the people, <laughs> people around me. Horgan is extremely self-critical, but her quick wit is undeniable. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just picking up the leftovers. Just take the sitcom Motherland about competitive suburban moms. Ah. St. Mary's. Or Catastrophe, which explores an unplanned pregnancy and unexpected nice romance. Like I mean, if you had any friends, they would be advising you not to jump into it like this. And she created many episodes yeah, of the hit exactly. HBO it's series awesome. Divorce in this Brooklyn restaurant. Can you check the alarm downstairs? It's making that chirping sound. Oh, sure. Thank you. Her latest project is the dark comedy Bad Sisters on Apple TV. Bad. A murder mystery that follows five sisters with an undertone of domestic violence. She doesn't respect you. It's your fault. It's pretty dark. I mean, apart from the fact that it's, it can be a bit crazy and slapstick, at the heart of it is, you know, a dangerously uh, abusive relationship. And I had to just make sure that I could represent that as authentically and realistically. And But at the same time, I had to be respectful of, of the situation at the heart of it. The show draws parallels to her own life. Horgan, too, is one of five siblings. And it was filmed in her homeland, Ireland. I imagine you as a very independent young girl when you were growing oh, up. Oh, no. no. Like, not really. I was doing, uh, really shy. Really, really shy. I mean, I didn't sort of find my voice until I, I started doing this. I mean, I, I always knew I was funny. It was sort of how you, in a big family, got attention was through making my mom my dad laugh. But no, I didn't, like, have any confidence and, until I was older, so I would always have assumed that I was you know, the least interesting uh, person to talk to. But I, I also think, like, not doing myself down in any way, but I don't think I really figured out who I was or even what I was really good at and, and until decades later. Her confidence today is subtle and modest. Yeah, she taps like into it through her love of dark it, yeah, comedy. Her work time. delicately turns like real-life problems into relatable humor. You can't just explode a man. What is it about the dark side of life that pulls you in as a brilliant writer of comedy? I mean, I'm just attracted to, you know, representing life as the most realistic version I can sort of make of it because mm. I, I feel like that's how I attract an, an audience, you know, when it feels really representative, you know, when it's not aspirational or sugar-coated in some way. Like, I love watching shows like that. I've been thinking about that talk. She had. says she enjoys writing about extraordinary messes and at the like core of almost her. all of her work is love. <laughs> what does love mean to you? What is love? I guess love for me is um, doing anything you um, can for someone without, without um, question. It's sort of being able to be honest when you don't, when it's hard to be honest. Anytime I've written anything that doesn't have that sort of at its beating heart, it kind of, uh, well, I sort of lose interest. What do you want to do that you haven't done? I just feel my perspective on my career has sort of changed over the years and that like I used to have this sort of blind ambition for you know getting to the top to me the top isn't something to kind of aim for because you either have to work really really hard to stay there or you just like fall she is still on the rise and thinking about her next big project 
you know, a lot of change has happened in my life this, this last while and getting divorced and, you know, teenage kids sort of getting to that point where they might be leaving home soon and elderly parents and menopause. And the thing you have to do first is find a, an engine, you know, to sort of tell that story, you know. So, um, but that's part of the, part of the fun. Bad Sisters is out today on Apple TV Plus, and it's a genre bender that's worth oh, your, I your see it. time. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see Catastrophe, too. You yes. would okay. love it. Yeah, yeah. I like the, I like very the funny. It's amazing the, show. the premise alone is great, right? But I'm a big fan of divorce. I didn't know that she wrote divorce. Yes, yes she While had a creative force. Through a divorce? If, if you, I hope people will Google her. Yeah, Because you, it's am, amazing yes. to see what she's been behind and what she's been involved in. Yeah. I like how she says she writes about extraordinary messes. <laughs> that is what her yeah. art extraordinary has always been. We've all had a couple of those. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. You're watching CBS Morning.